In our last video, we showed you how to set your lock codes with Lock Code Manager. But who has time to be putting in lock codes? Let's automate this door to lock automatically whenever we leave the house. Hey, Pete the Hubitat Hub Whisperer here. Now before we can program the lock to lock itself when we leave, the hub first needs to know where we are. And for that, we need the Hubitat mobile app. With the mobile app, you can set up a geofence that turns your phone into a presence sensor. If we go here, you can move the geofence around the map to center on your home and adjust its size like so. With your geofence set, anytime your phone crosses this line, the app will send an event to your hub notifying whether you are entering or leaving the zone. And that information we can use as a trigger to build our automations. So let's go into your hub and show you what we can do. Now if locking the door when you leave the geofence is all you want to do, it's a simple basic rule. I'll select when a present sensor, then select my and my wife's phone, then select everyone has left, meaning if Kelly leaves but I'm still home watching cat videos, the door is not going to lock, but if we're both gone, the house is burglar proof. Then our action is to lock the front lock and our rule is good to go. So that's that. But once you start using presence sensors, the options you have with modes start to open up. So I'm gonna show you another way to trigger this lock based on modes. We have a video on understanding modes and mode manager that I encourage you to check out, but let's go into mode manager now and make sure our modes are set. I'll select manage hub modes right here just to show you what modes we have. You'll see I have a day, evening, sleepy time, and away mode. I can create new modes or change the names here, but let's go back to mode manager to set them. I'm only concerned with away mode right now, and I want to set that mode by presence. So we'll go in here and select presence sensors for setting away mode. I want this to be all, meaning only when both of us are gone, it will kick the hub into away mode. There are a lot of options here to explore, but I'll hit done. I want you to note that we also have our sleepy time mode set to be controlled by a button, which we will be using in our next rule. All right, now that our modes are set, let's go build another rule. Now we can stick to basic rules for this, it's not too complicated, but this time we're going to select when a system mode, and here we're going to select away and sleepy time modes, and when either one of these modes occurs, we're going to lock that front door. Easy peasy. Now when your home goes into away mode or sleepy time mode, there may be other actions you want to occur, such as turning lights off, and you can add those right here as another action. If you're leaving the house, you might also want a confirmation that your lock did indeed lock, so you can send a notification to your phone by selecting this right here as well. Personally, I don't want a notification every time the door locks, but where I live during the three nice days of summer we have each year, we like to leave the door open, and sometimes we forget to shut it when we leave, so I have a little bonus automation to show you how to notify to make sure your door is shut. Now you need a contact sensor on your door, and we'll use Rule Machine to make this happen. So we're gonna go here and create a new rule. We'll name it Door is Ajar. Our trigger is the front lock, so the capability is a lock. Select the front lock, and we want to be notified when it is locked. So we're done with the trigger. Now when the front door is locked, we want to be notified if the front door is open. So that is what we call in the biz a conditional action. So we're going to select our actions and our type is a conditional action. For select which action, this is a simple conditional action. If we had multiple conditions, we'd have to select this, but our only condition is if the door is open, so we can select the simple conditional action. Our capability is contact, and we'll select the front door. Make sure that is open, and we'll select done with this condition. Now we need to select the then portion of the rule, which is notify our phone. So under action type, that is send, speak, or log a message. We'll select send, speak a message, then enter the message here. Select our phones right here. And now we're done with our actions. And that's it, we're done with our actions. So let's go back here, we'll just check out our rule. When the front door is locked, if the door is open, which it currently is not, we will receive a message on our phone politely notifying us that we should go back and shut it. So that is present sensors and locks in a nutshell. 
There are plenty of options to explore and I really hope you do. For more assistance with presence sensors or the mobile app, head to our online community at community.hubitat.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more Thrill a Minute content just like this. Thanks for watching and thanks as always for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation. Thank you.